Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. How close are we to having gene therapies available for humans that target the diseases of aging? Today we will have a look at a recent grant given to UC San Diego to run the first human trial of a gene therapy for BGNF targeting Alzheimer's disease, which has been approved by the FDA. First, a disclaimer that in this video we are sharing some information that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Let's have a look at the upcoming trial in more detail. Here is the press release from UC San Diego announcing a 5 million grant to run the trial to assess whether gene therapy can help with Alzheimer's disease. The grant is from the National Institute on Aging and is to conduct a phase 1 clinical trial of a gene therapy for treating Alzheimer's disease or mild cognitive impairment, conditions which often precede full dementia. The principal investigator will be Dr. Mark Jasinski from UC San Diego. And the treatment will be to deliver brain-derived neurotrophic factor, or BDNF, genes into the brain of the trial participants, where it is hoped it will prompt production of BDNF in nearby cells. The point that I think is exciting about this study is that it is a human trial using gene therapy and has been approved by the FDA. So first, why target Alzheimer's? Despite billions of dollars of research and decades of efforts, there is no cure or approved way to slow down or stop the progress of the disease. And the disease currently afflicts 5 million Americans and is the sixth largest cause of death in the US. Here are the stats from the Alzheimer's organization, which has a higher number of 6 million for people currently with the disease and a projection that the number will more than double by 2050 to 13 million. And what is brain-derived neurotrophic factor? BDNF is a key molecule involved in the plastic changes related to learning and memory, areas affected by Alzheimer's. The expression of BDNF is regulated by a number of inputs which can lead to differing levels in healthy individuals. As we can see here, both aging and Alzheimer's inhibit the production of BDNF, leading to reduced memory performance. BDNF has been shown to have neuroprotective effects in rodents and primate models, as in this report published in 2009, with Dr. Chizinski as one of the authors. As he commented on the results, delivering BDNF to the part of the brain that is affected earliest by Alzheimer's, they were able to reverse the loss of connection and protect from ongoing cell degeneration. And they saw this in old rats and monkeys as well as mice. Here we can see the increase in synapses in a mouse model after treatment with BDNF. In the study, the performance of the animals in memory and learning was improved. As well as the structure of the brains in terms of BDNF gene expression, cell size, cell signaling and activation of function in neurons which would otherwise have degenerated. And these benefits were seen in the hippocampus, where short-term memory is processed and is one of the regions to suffer damage in Alzheimer's. As they were able to show that BDNF prevented cell death, stimulated function and improved memory and learning, the hope is that BDNF will have a long-lasting effect in slowing or even stopping the disease progression. So what will the trial be? The trial is a phase 1 clinical trial which will examine whether BDNF will prevent neuronal loss and build new synapses with the aim of improving memory in patients with AD or MCI. The trial has been approved by the FDA and the UCSD Human Subject Safety Committee. The trial will be three years with 12 participants who have been diagnosed with either AD or MCI. The treatment is to use an adeno-associated virus, or AAV, to deliver BGNF genes to the target area of the entorhinal cortex. There will also be 12 controls. This is the first safety and efficacy assessment of AAV2 BGNF in humans. The BDNF gene will be infused into the entorhinal cortex. This will produce the BDNF, which will be transported to the hippocampus. The hope is that this will then protect the brain cells, promote new connections between cells, and improve memory. I think that this is really exciting, because it's a trial for a gene therapy targeting one of the major diseases of aging, and it's approved by the FDA. This shows a concrete path to developing a therapy that is more widely available. In my personal opinion, I also see that the use of gene therapy, which I think could be active in the cell for a long time, is a key point. I hope that you found the video informative. 
please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell button for any new video release notifications. Thank you so much for your kind support. I wish you all well, and we'll speak to you again soon.